today we are going to be going through the rampage and inducer the ui and the different machines and stuff in call of duty black ops 6 zombies guys this is my last zombies video before the official release of zombies i want to be very clear about that because i know lately i've been putting out oh my god so much content and <laughs> it's been crazy um but i just put out the lethals tacticals and score streaks video literally in zombies which is the last actual zombies coverage aside from the where are you doing oliver what are you doing under there you silly guy aside from the uh weapons this is the uh last official coverage in black ops 6 zombies and really the weapons are you serious anyway this is yeah this is the last official coverage of anything zombies so yeah i wanted to discuss the rampage inducer and basically tell you guys it works the same the rampage inducer will be at spawn on liberty falls and at uh terminus who knows the particular location that the rampage inducer will be at um, we just know it will be there. It will be the same as it was in Cold War. And it will be back. Uh, Rampage Inducer will work very similar to how it worked in this game. In that you will have... You will have the ability to basically start Rampages with the zombies and they will start running at you chaotically and you will basically have to find a way to counteract this so yeah i wanted to get into that i know me and ryan kind of covered it in our video So I know I, I didn't quite cover it completely.
So, I am slowly exploring the UI of basically Call of Duty Zombies. And I'm taking a look. And we got the round is in the corner underneath people's names. We got the armor plates. You can apply them manually. We got emotes and sprays in zombies now. We got the perks are right at the bottom. Kind of where they used to be, but now you have the field upgrade or whatever is right in the center instead of the corner, along with your lethal and tactical that you've picked up. And now in the corner, you just see your ammo. Basically, a little bit more over to the right. And above that is, of course, people that when they talk on the radio. And then your gobblegums are on the right of that, a little bit down. And the UI looks very beautiful. Next to your player icon will be your essence. And basically any currency on the map. And it will show your HP by basically 250 and then HP as a value. It's not really going to do anything else. Um... But yeah, go check out my Lethals and Tacticals video. I just put it up. Um, I'm sorry you guys who were waiting like a day for that. I don't know what I was doing. I said I was going to put that up like yesterday. And I did not. I completely forgot that was a thing. And I skipped out. Today should have been the field upgrades going up. Uh, I put up the field upgrades early. Accident by me. Sorry guys. Um... Morning of the 24th or the 25th, I will show you guys how to launch the game. Whenever that is available, I will show you guys how to launch into Black Ops 6. Good buddy. Now, moving on to the next thing is basically just discussing what the maps are going to look like. Um, Pack Punch Camos look interesting. So far, I've, I think I've only seen the first two. They look interesting. I think they're green and like one of them's yellow. And I think they look very interesting. I've only seen those ones yet. I guess this is where we get into some of the stuff me and Ryan talked about. And this is kind of where I read up on, like, map tour for Liberty Falls. And map tour of... Terminus. And this is kind of where... So there is a hidden area that Ryan actually confirmed. So we have an interactive map. I'm seeing the uh, box is by default we're seeing the default location for the box is by quick revive jug is basically in the next room along with some traps armor stations are pretty frequent 
was a weapon workbench. Uh, Gobble Gum Machine by Melee Macchiato and the uh, Pack-A-Punch, interestingly enough. There's a couple armor wall buys throughout the map. I think there's like four or three. Ammo boxes are pretty frequent. And there's a lot of door buys for Liberty Falls. I'm seeing Speed Cola Machine right next to Jug. Wonder Fizz near Jug. Along with... Stamina Up. And I'm seeing PhD is next to a arsenal area. Next to an ammo crate. And it's in a hallway. So very interesting. It looks like Liberty Falls is going to have a lot of hallways. And a lot of wall buys. Uh, interestingly enough, a lot of traps throughout the map too. A couple zip lines that we can take as well to get to different areas. Uh, crafting tables and such. It's going to be an interesting map to kind of figure out. There's going to be a lot of door buys. I'm looking at like I'm looking at like six or seven door buys, potentially. Uh, on Liberty Falls. Now that's just Liberty Falls. I wanna bring it out to Terminus here and kind of go and look at that one. So I wanted to look at Terminus. We have basically, it looks like an AA cannon and a stairway of some kind. So we're gonna have mantling is gonna be huge. We're gonna basically have this taking place in like an Alcatraz type prison or Verrucked prison. We've got a gobble gum right next to a power room apparently. Uh, We got cells in a guard station for one of the rooms. Very interesting. The uh, third area, or second area, is security overlook and control center. So something kind of like an area that looks like it's from Firebase, kind of. With all the computer monitors and stuff. This is the one that we've seen in the uh, videos. Living quarters, storage in the mess hall. We got a pool table here. Gobble gum machine in the court in the corner. A couple entrances. And even what appears to maybe be a wonder fizz. Interestingly enough. Um, so I'm very excited. You guys don't know I'm very excited to see this. Um, and I said today was kind of the UI day, so today we're going to be going through UIs for these maps, and So I wanted to go through the next area in the UI. Interesting enough, that last area had a lot of beds in it. It's a C tower. It's going to be a cool little tower. Gives off a lot of Zetsubo vibes. We got a box location here as well. And there's even an inside area. So that's very, very interesting. We got a gun battery platform. This is what I was interested in. It looks like there will be some uh, computers here. So most likely part of the Easter egg. As we got something similar to this in a World War II Easter egg. We got the sea caves and mining tunnels. This is all interesting because of how big this map is. 
and how big Terminus is as a map in general. So to see it like have this big selection of areas that you can go to is very interesting to not only me, but I think it's interesting to everybody who plays the game. Just to know that we're playing a map that's going to be this big. It's going to have all of this stuff that we're invested into on the map. So next up, we see there's a bunch of mining tunnels down here. Looks like a transportation type area, who knows. We got a bio lab, very reminiscent of Zetibo, but also very reminiscent of... Um, very reminiscent of Zetibo, also... Very reminiscent of Blood of the Dead. I've been saying that this map is so much like Blood of the Dead. And I'm getting all of those vibes right now. 100% that this map reminds me of Blood of the Dead. I'm getting lots of Blood of the Dead vibes. Lots of mob vibes from this map and honestly this this map is given it all right now in terms of vibes so i'm very excited to see what we have next here an incline lift and mag elevator and not only that but it looks like that might go somewhere else this is also where your Pack-a-Punch takes you, so this may unlock a different area, but it may also be the Pack-a-Punch area, which, if it's both, very interesting. Um, should be interesting fighting on this if this elevator is moving. Though. And there's going to be a shipwreck. It reminds me a lot of a particular map I can't wrap my head around what the name is but it's a particular map that's in call of duty uh cold war for the uh multiplayer helvetica So we get a shipwreck part of the map, which probably a big part of the Easter egg most likely is on here. Don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the actual, uh, map, like, layout looks like aside from the actual locations that I'm seeing in this, in these photos. Um, I don't know what the actual layout looks like from up top. I would be very interested to kind of see a up top over the map layout style for Terminus. Next up, we got the Outer Islands. We're supposed to get ammo boxes here. And we're supposed to get the Arsenal. Now, this is where I think you buy the ammo mods, I'm pretty sure. And maybe you can change up parts of your arsenal here. It's been about 20 minutes. So I want to make sure that this is everything that we have on the UI.
got three wonder weapons in black ops six zombies i believe are brand new i wanted to talk about those i would love to give them their own video but i feel like they're part of the ui i feel like the ui video might actually be an hour long because there is new stuff that i haven't discussed god damn zombies just has too much <laughs> that's really how i feel guys there's so much to cover in zombies. Honestly. So. So, welcome to the Wonder Weapons section. This is something I never discussed. We're going to have to add this to the title. I didn't know this video would be UI, Rampage Inducer, and Wonder Weapons for BO6. But, apparently I was going through Intel and I completely whiffed on the Wonder Weapons. I don't want to make seven videos, guys, on shit that I missed. Um... I know we covered a lot of this in the podcast, but not all of you guys watched the podcast or the podcasts, this, the multiple podcasts. So I want to, instead of making you guys watch that, I am going to be showing you guys this, which is, first of all, we have the classic zombie killing wonder weapon. And the potency just gets more impressive with the ray gun making its return. And it is upgradable as usual. The Thrust Showdine Model 23. I can't say that. The Thrust Show the Thrustodyne Model 23. It is the jet gun making its return. This one doesn't tend to fall apart. After a second or so for the rotor blades to spin up to more than 40,000 RPMs. As indicated by the weapon gauge, it instantly pulls in any nearby zombies, mincing them through the engine. Leaving a soggy mess of innards. Powerful enemies are gradually torn and shredded as well as stunned. The second fire, purposely overheating the weapon, causes the weapon to belch out a tremendous backblast with a massive area of effect. More potent entities and stunning any survivors. The weapon automatically overheats at this point. Now, if you can manage the temperature, this is amazing. This weapon's amazing. You can pack a bunch of three times, which increases maximum fire time and lessens the cooldown time. Now these are the guaranteed wonder weapons we have. And we also have a weapon called the Beam Smasher, which is on Terminus. I don't think we have a preview of the Beam Smasher.
But yes, as I discussed, Rampage Inducer is back. Wall by Armor is here, and Ascenders and Ziplines are all over the maps. You can upgrade your weapon rarities and your ammo mods, and use the pack a bunch of machines to upgrade your weapons. Next, we're going to talk about the inhabitants of Liberty Falls. The Bipedal Shamblers. Remnants of humanity still cling on to the zombies seeking to devour your team. Including sheriff, deputies, cheerleaders, bikers, punks, and other townsfolk. We have the armored heavy zombies, vermin, and manglers. Swords increase in size. Expect ravenous spider like scuddlers known as vermin to hatch into the most revolting way imaginable. They are joined by the remains of the Project Janus security forces wearing additional armor and proving to be more of a menace to take down. Mangors soon join the fray, face down their bladed, swiping, and circular projectiles. Making a return from Cold War. Abominations periodically join the rotting throngs of lurching undead during longer lasting matches. And lastly, we have the Beam Smasher, which is comparable in size and shape to a light machine gun. It features a single barrel emitting a supercharged and incredibly damaging Aetheric Beam. This weapon is reloaded by swapping out the side-mounted DAP canister. Primary fires a solid beam of Aetheric energy breaking down at the molecular level in a cloud of vaporized innards. Secondary focus shockwaves cause the molecules of multiple enemy targets to vibrate at alarmingly fast rates. Targets are racked with pulsing head trauma that incapacitates them and slows them. Become much more easily to damage them with both firing modes and conventional firepower. And for Terminus, the zombies we have is the bipedal shamblers, the normal enemies of Terminus, aka the zombies, the armored zombies, and heavy zombies. We got the vermin make a return. We got parasites exclusive to Terminus. Manglers return. Amal Amalgams, aka the multi leg dash arm creatures make a return and explore terminus and you'll encounter the janus security tentacle traps void cannon traps and multiple things Venture off the main island if you want to fight the tentacle.
and the truth lies folks next up i'll be going into prestiges thank you guys for watching it's been really good to bring you guys this ui wonder weapon and enemy video thank you guys